Hello, everybody, and welcome to Colleen's Craft Corner. This Today, we are making friendship bracelets. You can theme them, theme them to be the colors of Disney characters. All you'll need is embroidery thread or baker's twine. You could also use yarn, ribbon, really any kind of string. I've got all my embroidery thread here. I'm going to pick out what colors I want to use. So I'm thinking I'm going to make a Mickey Mouse themed bracelet. So I'm going to use red, yellow, white, and black. You want to pull out some really long pieces of thread. I think my pieces are like two and a half feet long. Better they're too long than they're too short. You want to make sure that it'll wrap all the way around your wrist. If you don't want to wear it as a bracelet, they also work, work very well as um, bookmarks. You want to have at least six pieces of thread. So you're going to pull out all your pieces of thread, get them to be all the same length, and then tie them in a knot at one end. Once you have your pieces all set up and tied in a knot, you want to separate your strings out so you can find them really easily and that you go in the right order. You want to have at least six strings, but you can always do more. And how you want the pattern, the color to be is up to you. You could have a bunch of small stripes, one stripe that's like three threads, and two stripes that's one thread wide. It's up to you. Once you have all your threads tied in a knot, I suggest taping it down onto a table or clipping it onto a clipboard. This holds it steady while you do the pattern down the strings. You want to keep your strings nice and separate and spread out so that you go in the correct order. The color scheme is totally up to you. How wide you want your stripes to be depends on how many threads of each color that you have. So I'm going to do four stripes, four different colors. They're each two threads wide. So you're going to start with your first string and you create quarter sort of a four. Loop the string under, through, you started to make a knot, and you're going to slide your knot all the way up. Then you do it again. Four, through, up, knot. And then using that same string, keep going. I usually keep, so the thread you're knotting with, keep that in my right hand, and I never let it go. Make two knots on each thread as you move your way across. There you go. You made a row. And you just do that same motion that same knotting over and over and over again until you're done. You always go back to the string on what is the left when you're facing it. And you just knot and you move your way across. You want to watch out as you go. Your bracelet will kind of want to curl in on itself, just the way the strings are. So when you have it taped down, you might want to keep moving the tape closer and closer so that it doesn't curl, because that'll make it harder to do the knots. Or if you're using a clipboard, move it up closer to the clip. And you can see that we made a row. There's the start of the bracelet. See the knot at the top. And then you would just keep going until it's long enough to go around your wrist, or you want it to be a tassel, or a bookmark, or whatever. And that's how you make a striped bracelet. 
So you just keep going. If you would like to make a chevron pattern like this one, same process. You probably want to have eight strings instead of six or even more to make sure because you basically need double of whatever you're going to do. Same sort of thing. Tape it down. You're going to put a piece of tape right here. Again, you want to separate out your strings. And you basically divide your strings in half to make each half of the chevron. So on this side, I have a light purple, two dark purples, and a pink. And on this side, I have a light purple, two dark purples, and a pink. So to start, you're doing the same pattern, you were do same motion you were doing before. Create your four, loop under, and up, make a knot. Same thing, make your second knot. Move on to the next string. But now that I've gotten to the middle, I'm going to stop. Set those strings aside. Go to the other side. You basically do it just the reverse. Same knot, but going the other direction. So I've created my now like backwards four. Go around and up. String. Now that I've gotten to the middle, you can see I made like a little light purple V. I'm going to tie these two together in just a little knot. So you see that it's basically it's almost like two bracelets on one. You want to make sure you have your strings placed so they meet together in the middle how you want them to, which you could have each side of the chevron be a different color if that's what you want. Do another row. Be careful with your knots. You don't want them to be too tight. If you pull them too tight, then it won't just be knotted over the string. They'll knot together, and the string that you're going around will show, which you don't want that color to show. Light purple. There you go. You can see the setup is the same. I tied them together in a knot. Then you just keep going. You've got your chevron pattern. Once you get in the swing of it, it's pretty easy. Just keep tying those knots and moving your way across and moving your way down. And that's friendship bracelets. So I've got the beginning of this one, which I themed like Rapunzel with pinks and purples. And this one is Mickey Mouse with white, black, red, and yellow. And you can see right there, I made a little mistake. You can see like a black dot in the middle of the white. That happens. You try and it wrong. But it's fine. They're friendship bracelets. If you give it to a friend, they're really your friend. They won't care. I hope you enjoyed. Colleen's Craft Corner. And if you make your own friendship bracelet, send me a picture at Colleen at WDWNT.com. Thanks for joining me today. Mm -hmm.